Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Morning Wrestling. I am your host, Wes Lynn, and first up we have the 1 2 3 kid challenging that monster right there, Andre the Giant, for the YouTube Championship. And look at their size differences. Andre the Giant just throws the kid to the ground and now he ties him back up. I mean, the 1 2 3 kid is definitely the underdog in this battle. Look at the size difference. Andre the Giant towering over him. Just playing with the kid at the moment. And look at this over his head. Drops him on the knee for the gut buster. And please don't do this. No. Oh, that's got to tear up the kid's insides. And now he's choking him on the mat. This could be the quickest victory we've ever seen in Sunday morning wrestling if it continues this way. And Andre just sending him sky high, toying with the kid. And the kid still can't get him off the ground. Tried that flying clothesline but did not work and look at Bobby Heenan by Andre the Giant's side and now Andre taking the kid up for a suplex and look at that falling suplex from Andre the Giant Andre the Giant in control of the kid picking the kid up to his feet hooking his arms picking him up look at this all oh, the kids stomping on the toe of Andre the Giant and now right hand sends Andre into the corner spinning heel kick in the corner Andre is on the floor the one, two, three kid has got Andre on the floor to sit out. Power bomb. Can he get the three? Oh, what a massive upset that would have been. The kid does have Andre on the floor though. He wants to keep him there. Leg drop onto Andre. The kid running around. Big leg drop again. Springboard leg drop off the middle rope. Now picking Andre up. You wanted to keep him on the floor, really, kid. Kicked in the midsection. Goes for the DDT and Andre with a big back drop. Andre misses, the kid too quick, gets out of the way. Andre with a nice punch to the midsection, ties the kid up, takes the kid to the ropes. Got his hand over the rope. Look at this, the, just the strength, the power, the size of Andre the Giant. But the kid takes him down again, goes over the top, calling for Andre to get to his feet springboard drop kick takes Andre off his feet Andre flying across the ring the one two three kid not such a pushover after all the kid turning Andre over goes for the cover Andre does kick out at two the kid can't believe it the kid thought he had that one one Andre taking the kids down to the ground. Now sitting on the back of the one, two, three kids arm. Big elbow to the top of the head. And Andre really starting to toy with the kid, but the kid ties him up. DDT onto Andre. Takes Andre down. Now the kid going to the top rope. What's he got in mind? Turns around, moonsault off the top, onto Andre, hooks the leg, is it enough? Andre kicking out at two. The one, two, three kid putting up a great fight here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Nice neck breaker. Andre not having a lot of offense, does get out of the way of that elbow from the kid. Picks the one, two, three kid up. Nice back breaker from Andre the Giant. Dragging the one, two, three kid to the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. Will it be enough? I mean, I thought his weight alone would be enough to keep the kid down, but one, two, three kid does kick out. Now Andre turning him over. Andre, big elbow, gets the cover, surely that's enough this time. And the kid kicking out at 2.99. Andre can't believe it. Now, the kid back to his feet, spinning heel kick, rocks Andre back. They both go down. Miscommunication, the kid over the top rope again, looking for the drop kick, hits the drop kick, takes Andre off his feet again. Turning Andre over. Can he get the three? And Andre kicking out at two. Again, just not quite enough from the one, two, three kid there. Now the one, two, three kid going back up to the top looking for another moonsault maybe. Look at that picture. Perfect 
moonsault from the 1 2 3 kid. But Andre still kicks out at 2. The fans chanting one more time. Springboard leg drop missed by the kid. Misjudged the flight of that and missed Andre the Giant completely. Andre gets up to his feet. Andre takes him over. Big hip toss. Picking the kid back up. The kid slips out the side though, taking the knee out of Andre. They tie up again. Andre taking the kid into the corner. Now Andre working on the arm again of the 1 2 3 kid. Big chop to that shoulder joint. Oh, lovely spinning heel kick from the 1 2 3 kid, taking Andre off his feet. And then the super kick taking Andre down again, and Andre double boot gets the kid off of him. Andre using his weight on the lower back of the kid. Now Andre's up against the ropes. What's the kid going to do here? The kid, big kick, sends Andre over the top, runs against the ropes. Hurricane Rana through the middle of the ropes, and the 1 2 3 kid has Andre on the outside. We never normally see Andre the Giant on the outside of the ring. But the kid is taking Andre to his limit. DDT on the outside. Smashes the arm against the mat. Oh, misses the elbow drop. And Andre back up to his feet. Andre, big knee to the face of the kid. The 1 2 3 kid with some great offense here. Picking Andre back up. Nice headbutt taking the kid down. Now Andre picking him back up. Sends the kid into the ring. Maybe Andre's had enough. There's been enough toying in this match. Andre slowly walking around the ring. Climbs over the top rope. Turns the kid onto his front. And is this it? Elbow drop. One, two, three. The one, two, three kid putting up an absolute fantastic fight there. But Andre, too big, too powerful. Andre with the victory over the kid. He looks like he's struggling, but what a battle. Next up, guys, is Akira Hakotu versus Wendy Richer. Akira with her debut last week against Luna, getting the victory. Let's see if she can continue this today against Wendy Richer. Wendy ties her up, takes it into the corner. Misses the grapple in the corner. Akira with a big slap and a second and a third and a chop and another chop. Now take her up, double underhook suplex by Akira. Big knee to the face. Akira picking Wendy Richer up to her feet. Misses the slap. Elbows out of it though. Elbowing back into Wendy. Ties Wendy up. Big boots to the midsection. Akira then throws her across the ring. And Akira going to the top rope. Calling for Wendy to get to her feet. Misses the double axe handle off the top. I'm not sure how she missed that. It was easier to hit Wendy than it was to miss her. And then just throwing her across the ring. Manhandling Wendy Richer at the moment is Akira. Akira gets an elbow for her troubles. They kicked in the midsection from Wendy and a big chop. Akira blocked it though, taking Wendy up for the Akira driver, let's call it. The Akira driver only gets the two count now. Lining Wendy up again. Oh, a lovely driver. Look at this. Is it enough to put her away? No, it's not. Akira is definitely a different breed of woman's wrestler. Vicious, quick, high flying, bite in the hand of Wendy Richie. And again for a third time, the referee doing absolutely nothing about it. Now Wendy does roll her off. Wendy trying to get a foothold in this match. Picking Akira up to her feet. Lovely drop kick from Wendy Richard. Takes Akira down. Goes for the cover. Akira kicks out at two. Wendy Richard thought that should have been a three. Wendy standing moonsault. Is that enough? 
She doesn't go for the cover. Now trying to pull the arm from the socket of Akira, but can't quite do it. Misses with a quick elbow. Akira back to her feet. Akira ties Wendy up. Gets her up on her shoulder. Snake eyes in the corner. Picking Wendy Richer back up again. Big suplex driver. Gets the cover. Is it enough for the victory? No, it's not. Akira so close. And now Akira again. Looking for this driver again. Oh, but Wendy slips off the back. Wendy Richer. Oh, look at that leg drop. I thought she was going to go for inverted DDT, but she hit the leg drop instead and now goes for the cover herself. Akira kicks out at one, not even a two count. And now Wendy Richer lining Akira up. She's got her on her shoulders. Over the top she goes. And Akira kicks out at two. Wendy Richard, what has she got to do to put Akira away? Big slap to the face he's against the ropes. Takes her across the ring. Jumps over the top. Big body splash. And now moonsault again, but Akira ducks out of the way of that moonsault. And then throws Wendy Richard across the ring by her hair. Picking Wendy Richard up. Taking her up for a big suplex driver. And she's here. Is it enough this time? Surely for the three. Not quite. Wendy Richard kicking out too. What a battle these two are having. And now Akira lining her up. Again. She's already hit it once. Went for a second time. Missed. Hits it again. Surely. Now it has to be the three count. And it is Akira. Hakuto with the victory over Wendy Richer. Another good victory under the belt of Akira. Well done to her. Next up guys we have Animal of the Road Warriors taking on a stunning Steve Austin of the Hollywood Blondes. Singles match, they do have their partners in their respective corners, but just a one-on-one -on -one match. Animal taking Stunning Steve up. Look at the strength of Animal. The strength on show straight away. Falling suplex. Animal now with a big right hand to Stunning Steve, making him not so stunning, maybe. And again going to town on Steve Austin now picking Steve up to feet Steve takes the leg out of Animal hits him with that elbow drop stunning Steve now again hitting the elbow on top of the head of Animal picking Animal up to his feet ties him up he's got Animal up on his shoulder drops him on that top rope the guillotine off the top and smashing his arm on the canvas Stunning Steve. Here yeah, gets a backdrop for his trouble. Thought he was going for the power driver, but Animal too strong. Animal now going high risk. This is not something you see very often. This is normally where Hawk is suited. Big headbutt off the top from Animal. Now Animal stomping on the knee of Austin. And again for his troubles. Picking Austin up to his feet. Ties Austin up, got him up on his shoulders. Guillotine off the top rope. Now, the animal picking him up, but Austin takes him down. Austin being knee dropped to the face of Animal. Goes for the quick cover. Is it enough? No, it's not. Two count from Austin. Animal kicking out at two. Hawk on the outside. Brian Pillman on the outside for Austin. And now Austin going for the pile driver. He's hit the pile driver. Is that enough to put Animal away? Will this be enough for the three count? And it is stunning. Steve Austin 
with the victory over Animal. And there he is, the victor. And Animal showing some respect here. Look at this, the two hand, hand, giving a handshake. We like to see that here, some respect, some mutual respect between the two. Next up, guys, we have the Intercontinental Champion, Rowdy Roddy Piper in action, taking on Arn Anderson. And Arn Anderson repping his old colours, WCW Monday Nitro. But we are here in Sunday morning wrestling. It's a different ball game here. But Arn taking Roddy Piper to the corner. Roddy Piper elbowing his way out. Arn Anderson could pull up a good fight here. Roddy Piper smashing Arn's head into the corner. Nice jab from Roddy Piper. Shoulders to the midsection of Arn. And now stomping away at Arn Anderson. Stomping away at Arn. Gives him the finger and stomps again. Arn rolls up though. Arn gets up. Nice double chop from... Look at this. Arn Anderson blocking everything. Ducks out of the way. And knocks Roddy Piper into the corner. And now Arn Anderson does follow it up. Big overhand right. Roddy Piper fighting back though. Smashing his head against the canvas. And Roddy Piper all over Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson back to his feet. Piper sends him over the top. Piper follows him to the outside. What a battle these two are having. Piper trying to break their leg. Rip their leg out of the hip socket. But Arn Anderson kicks him off of him. Arn picking Roddy Piper up. Ties him up. Sends Piper into the barricade. And then Arn getting back into the ring. Breaking the referee's count for the time being. Roddy Piper follows him in, Arn Anderson with a double punch to the midsection, ties him up in the corner, smashing his head against the top turnbuckle, big chop in the corner. Roddy Piper fights back with an elbow though, ties Arn up, takes him up, flapjack into the mat. Roddy Piper picking Arn up, ties Arn up, sends him against the ropes. Now running Bulldog out of the corner for Roddy Piper. Is this the end? Are we going to see the finish? Arn Anderson kicks out. Arn Anderson kicking out at two. Roddy Piper can't believe it now. Roddy Piper maybe looking for the sleeper hold. He's got it hooked in. Is it going to be enough to put Arn out? Arn out. Arn Anderson is a strong man. Can he hold on? Managed to get hold of the ropes. The referee makes the break. Arm breaker by Roddy Piper. Arm back up to his feet. Tornado DDT. Now, on. Just staring at Piper, trying to take the legs out. Takes him down. What's he got doing here? Arn's got his legs tied up. Boot in the back of the chest just shoving him into the mat and now on going for the cover Roddy Piper does kick out at two Arn Anderson putting up a great fight here against Roddy Piper and now maybe looking for the spine buster he's hit the spine buster is it enough can he get the victory over the current intercontinental champion no he can't no he can't just a two count for the time being the fans chanting fight forever. They're enjoying this one. I'm enjoying this one. I hope you are too at home. Big elbow drop off the top from Arn Anderson. Goes for the cover again. And Roddy Piper kicks out again. What is Arn Anderson going to have to do to put this guy away? Nice kick to the head from Roddy Piper. Going for another bulldog. He's hit it. Goes for the cover again. Arn. Can he? Kick out, he can. Arn Anderson kicking out to again. Roddy Piper can't believe it. These two going back and forth, blow for blow, pin for pin. And now Roddy Piper looking for the sleeper hold again. Doesn't get it. Arn Anderson with a jawbreaker. Sending Roddy Piper into the ropes. Look at this, using the forearm to take him to the ground. And Arn Anderson in control now. That jawbreaker, the turning point, goes for the cover. Not quite enough from Arn Anderson. These two warriors of the game. Arn Anderson now going 
for a second. Spine, Buster, and he's hit it. He's got the cover. Is this one enough to put the Intercontinental Champion away? And it is. Arn oh, Anderson may have just earned himself a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Roddy Piper, Arn Anderson going to shake hands. What a battle between these two. I want to see that one again. It's time for the main event. Vader and the British Bulldog teaming up to take on Yokozuna and the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Now last week there should have been a triple threat match between Yokozuna, HBK and Vader for the title. But Michaels was taken out by the British Bulldog before the match. So he couldn't be in it. So the title match was not on. We just had a one-on-one -on -one match between these two in the ring. And Vader was the winner. Now Yokozuna tagging Shawn Michaels in. Michaels in the ring. Nice jab. Oh, lovely springboard elbow from the heartbreak kid to Vader. Vader with a kick to the head. Vader making the tag to the Bulldog. The Bulldog wants in. The Bulldog wants a piece of Shawn Michaels. And they tie up. The Bulldog looking to take him up for a suplex. Nice gut punch by Michaels to get out of it. Lovely jab sending him back. Nice knee to the midsection by the Bulldog. Bulldog with a lovely upcut. Taking Michaels off the floor and then tagging Vader in. Vader. Big stomp onto the abdomen of Shawn Michaels. Stomping away at Michaels' legs. Picks Shawn up. Ties Michaels up, takes him into the corner. Oh, went for the shoulder tackle, but Michaels too quick. Hits a DDT, taking Vader to the ground. And now Michaels looking to tag Yokozuna in. These three men will want a rematch. They want that triple threat match. Yokozuna and Michaels working together just for today. And Vader just ran through Yokozuna. What a move, what a man. And now... Bulldog in. Bulldog trying to take advantage. Kicks in midsection. Yokozuna too fast for him. Nice body to body suplex. Turns Bulldog over. Wrenching the neck of Bulldog. Pulling that head back. Bulldog does slip out though. Bulldog with a lovely drop kick. Yokozuna still on his feet. Ties up Bulldog. Oh, a lovely gut buster from Yokozuna. And Yokozuna picking the Bulldog back up to his feet. Ties him up. Sends him into the corner. Now, Yokozuna using his body weight against the Bulldog. And then throwing him across the ring. Yokozuna trying to wrench at the head. But Bulldog getting to his feet. Double axe handle takes him back down. Yokozuna makes tag to Sean and Vader is in as well. Bulldog rolls out the ring. Vader and Michaels going out now. Michaels taken over the top by Vader. Vader tried to, not sure what he was trying to do, but it didn't work. Michaels misses the crossbody coming into the ring and then kicks him in the face. A lot of back and forth here between Michaels and Vader. Hits the flying elbow, kicks up. Gets the cover. Is it enough? Bulldog nowhere to be seen. And the two count. Sean Michaels making the tag to Yokozuna while Vader's still down. Bulldog finally back up to his feet, getting on the ring apron. Body to body suplex again by Yokozuna, goes for the cover. Surely not going to be enough to put Vader away. Not quite. Vader still down, Yokozuna chomping away. Lovely drop kick to the back of the head of Vader. Yoko turns him over, running against the ropes, big leg drop, but Vader gets out of the way just in time. Vader stumbling about a bit, Yokozuna back up to his feet, they tie up again. Now Vader looking to take control, but Yokozuna with some lovely elbows to Vader. Vader taken down with the clothesline. Three former SMW World Heavyweight Champions in this match, by the way, the last three and then you have the Bulldog, which who is a two-time SMW Intercontinental Champion here in Sunday Morning Wrestling, but never won the big gold. Now Vader looking for the Vader bomb. It's time. It's time. It's Vader time. 
He's hit the Vader bomb. Is it enough? Yoko coming in to make the save, and he does get the save. And the Bulldog taking Yoko to the outside. Vader in control. Vader going up high. Vader maybe looking for the Vader soul, and he's hit it. Still not enough to put Michaels away, just kicking out before the three. And now Vader tagging Bulldog and the fans chanting tag team wrestling. They're loving what they are seeing here, guys. Bulldog picking him up. Pile driver onto Michaels. Now Bulldog getting the pin. Yokozuna breaking it up, though. Now, if you don't remember, guys, it was Shawn Michaels that got the British Bulldog suspended from Sunday morning wrestling. That is why the Bulldog attacked Michaels. And now look at this. Oh, Michaels slipping off the back. Bulldog couldn't quite keep him up. German suplex from Michaels. Yokozuna back up to the apron. Looked like Michaels wanted to make a tag, but Yokozuna was not there in time. And now Michaels taking Bulldog up for a suplex of his own. Goes for the cover. Just the one count. Vader do need to come in, but Vader comes in and absolutely takes Michaels' head off with that drop kick, Vader over the top Yokozuna over the top but spring board back elbow from Michaels takes Bulldog down now Michaels stomping on the head of the Bulldog and again look at this, the punishment from Michaels on the Bulldog now Michaels looking for the sweet chin music Yokozuna's back on the canvas Michaels hits it, he's got the cover is it enough? Can the Bulldog kick out? He can. Bulldog kicking out at two. Just in time. Vader back in the ring. Michaels turns his attention to Vader. Kicks in midsection. Nice DDT to Vader. Vader rolling out of the ring. Yokozuna coming in. Bulldog is out cold. Slowly getting up. He looked out of it then. Nice headbutt from Yoko. Yokozuna standing there. Bulldog misses the clothesline. Yokozuna turns him back round. Big backdrop. No. Cross body. By Bulldog, turns it around. British Bulldog lining Yoko up, slamming Yoko's head against the mat. Bulldog picking him up, going for the arm breaker, picking Yoko back up to his feet, ties him up. Face buster onto Yoko Zuna, and in comes the Bulldog, the Bulldog on fire. Now Yoko back to his feet, big uppercut. Look at this. Oh, Bulldog raking the eye, so Yoko Zuna couldn't do the double choke slam. Russian leg sweep takes him down. Now Bulldog lining him up, picking him up. Look at the strength for the Bulldog dead, lifting 500 pounds off the ground. Gets the cover, should be enough, but Michaels breaks up the count. Now Bulldog with Michaels. Gets him up. Power bomb. Sean Michaels over the top rope. So it's just one on one with him and Yokozuna. The power of the Bulldog. Now Yokozuna fighting out of it. The fans are stunned. They're all stood there. Can't move because of this action. Now the Bulldog not sure what to do with Yokozuna. The referee getting in the way. He was going to take him to the corner, but the referee in the way. Oh, super kick. Takes Bulldog down. Yokozuna dragging Bulldog to the centre. Trying to drag Bulldog to the centre. Bulldog fidgeting out the way. And now he goes for the cover. Too long, I think, though. Vader looking for the break. No, he's not. Bulldog kicks out at two. And Vader's took down the clothesline from Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels taking Vader over the top rope. Yokozuna went for that backdrop again, but the Bulldog reversing it again with a crossbody. Now Bulldog big boot to the lower back of Yokozuna, and we've got Sean Michaels and Vader fighting on the outside. Bulldog stomping on the head of Yokozuna and goes for the cover. Is it enough? Michaels and Vader still fighting on the outside, and Yokozuna does kick out. We will stay with this match as long as we need to, guys. And Bulldog has him up on his shoulder again. The running power slam. Is it enough this time? Can he get the three? Oh, Sean Michaels breaking it up just 
in the nick of time and then that running shoulder barge to the back of Michaels but Michaels back up to his feet Bulldog and Michaels in the ring Bulldog ties Michaels up got him up on his shoulder chucking Michaels out the ring again so it's just Bulldog and Yokozuna keeping this a two on one handicap match Vader wanting the tag in on Yokozuna but Bulldog not able to make it and look at this the power of Yokozuna the weight the size advantage looking for the bond Zai drop and he's hit it is it enough one two and Vader breaks it up just in time Vader taking Shawn Michaels over the top following him to the outside Vader looking to take care of him sits on the chest of Shawn Michaels this is the time these two men are in the ring on their own Michaels and Vader going toe to toe on the outside German suplex from Vader onto Shawn Michaels Yokozuna hangs Davy Boy Smith on the top rope ties him up Yokozuna taking his time with a Bulldog the referee getting in the way again and the Bulldog fighting back against Yokozuna has him up on his shoulder looking for the running power slam hit the running power slam is this it can he get the three and he can the British Bulldog and Vader have won it and they are celebrating the deserved victory what a victory for these two men Vader and the Bulldog working so well as a team Vader celebrating but what's this Bulldog taking Vader's legs out from underneath him Bulldog takes him into the corner Bulldog look at this Bulldog going to town on Vader he wants a shot at that championship he thinks he's good enough to be in that title picture running Bulldog out of the corner and follows it up with a leg drop I think the British Bulldog making a statement here he wants in that triple threat match he wants it to be a fatal four way look at that smug face of the British Bulldog Thanks for tuning in to Sunday Morning Wrestling. Don't forget to like the episode. If you aren't already, please make sure you are subscribed. I've been your host, Wes Lynn, and we'll see you right here, same time, same place, next week on Sunday Morning Wrestling.